Today, I want to give a quick update on the sugar carbon battery. I've been doing a few experiments to determine what some of the best ingredients and techniques are, and I'm still dialing it in, um, but I wanted to give an update. What I found, I started by, I was trying to determine whether cane sugar, the standard table sugar, or dextrose, corn sugar, was, uh, was the better media for the generating the sugar carbon. What I did is I took the absolute best result that I had so far, which was using cane sugar, and I substituted only that one ingredient, and I substituted in the um, corn sugar for that. I got a good result. I can't tell whether it's good enough. And that's where I have found that I'm going to have to tighten up my testing protocols and my procedures to make sure that I can understand whether things are good enough. The best run I had on uh, this guy was, which is the, the uh, corn sugar, was uh, 7 minutes and 34 seconds off of 5 minutes charge. Very good, very good run. But I'm not so sure that that's, you know, I could tell if it was blown out of the water and it was a wonderful result can't tell for sure if it's a small result that is similar. And so I'm going to have to dial in my results a little bit uh, care more careful, my techniques. One technique I found that I really have to work on, and that will be my next technique, is when you have a powdered carbon and you want to make it into an ink-like material that you can paint onto, a, a mater onto something else, you need to be really consistent in the amount of water and the thickness of that product, that that thickness can really determine how well it paints. And that painting determines how much material you have of the active material you have on your uh, device. So I've got to dial that in and I, I'm not to where that I want that to be yet. So that's my next thing to dial in. The other thing I've been doing is I've been changing some of my things. I, uh, for example, based on an, another video, I saw the uh, I'm using these clips to attach to the graph oil. Much better contact. The alligator clips were chewing up the graph oil a bit. These clips are much better. They give a good solid contact along a long surface, and so they're great. Except, I have found that when I look really close, let's see if I can get this on the camera right. I'm getting a cracking. A cracking in the foil. Okay, so right about there in that region, I'm getting a cracking in the foil. And that, that of course, it can't be. And that's because it's laying down like this, and these have been drooping a little bit, and sometimes they droop a lot, and so you end up with the uh, cracking action. So I'm going to have to figure that out. I think I'm going to build just a little jig that will hold these in place at just the right height for everything to, to work well. So that'll be my next little jig to, to build so that everything uh, works out. Uh, so I've got to dial in the ink and I've got to dial in the, uh, the cracking, the little jig, uh, but making major progress. I also changed my battery tester unit just a little bit. I got different cables so that now I have the banana plug cables. If you look really closely, I was just clipping banana clips or alligator clips into these plugs. Wasn't as a robust connection. This is a solid, robust connection. These speaker banana cables as uh, part of this project box. I'm really loving them and they're, they're great and solid. And that's what I want. I don't want the kids to be fussing with bad connections. I don't want them to be fussing around and saying, Mr. Wadsworth, the, the uh, clip isn't hooking into the graph oil very well. I want them to be able to clip it onto this clip, that clip onto that, boom, and, and nice and solid and, and robust. Besides, it helps my testing too, because in parallel with them, I, I want, I'll be doing my own. So I've got a lot of stuff that I'm doing uh, to prepare for the summer, as well as for the end of this school year. May not have quite as many updates for a little while, but I hope to have more soon. Thank you very much and have a great day.